Welcome to your weekly episodic series of Muerte Minute. This week is sponsored by Rita's Water Eyes. Four new delicious flavors for the season. Based off your favorite drinks. This week is a margarita. Ah, damn, that's good. We're making moves. We got sponsorships. I'm going to go over a few things. Just going to look over my notes. Uh... A little scattered today but we have a lot to go over due to weather we can have a show last weekend but we will have one this weekend coming up and of course the big show the one you all been waiting for coming on the 20th so here we go just uh want to clear a few things up between Enforcer and the whole Browns and situation that happened last show. Browns did pin you, but you are the sole survivor. I mean, you came back from a 3-1 deficit and you proved everybody wrong. Like, a lot of people don't have faith in you, but shit, you fucking put on a show that day. And... He did pin you, though, no matter what. And Browns is reinstated. So that means there's only one way to clear this up. Enforcer versus Browns on May 20th. And let's make that an extreme rules match. This Browns would be more comfortable. I'm sure he'll accept it. But in force, I know you can fucking take it. And uh, but Browns, I don't think he's going to come alone. Brute force is a force to be reckoned with in this company. Now, on to the second thing. The XPW Tag Team titles will be defended on the next show, the 13th. And whether or not it will be, you know, I'm not going to announce anything yet. But they also will be on the line. May the 20th. So, I have had picked a team for the winner, whether it be the Rednecks or not, this week. I've hand picked a team the 20th. And I think you guys are going to like what it is. And, but I'm not going to spoil anything yet. And, uh, I got a letter this morning from, uh, the Puerto Rican Dynasty. And I thought I'd read it aloud. Let it load. And while it's loading, let me uh, once again remind you all, Rita's Wood Margarita, it's the shit. So, it's still loading, still loading. Then I have one more. All right, we'll get back to that. Anyway. So, more day minute. I'm being very unprofessional right here with the dead time, but I have a lot of notes to go over, and the computer isn't working with me. Oh, there we go. Okay. So... LXW owned Chris Blaze. This guy came in, put a show for us, and he really did stand out a little bit. And uh, when I saw him in the ring, he, my, he looked like me, and it was weird. It was pretty weird. We almost had the same gear, and it was even more weird. But uh, let's just go back. Uh, I decided to bring back a blast from your past to wrestle you. And I'll keep that a secret, because I want you to be surprised as well. I want everybody to be surprised. So i got a match for you, too. Fourth. <clears throat> this goes out to my favorite pain, my side, Legion, Chris Conant, Brian Ace, Unknown, and of course, Sniper, pussy. Anyway, Ace and Conant, you guys want opportunities, I get it. Everyone around here wants an opportunity, and it's all I hear. 
But you guys think you're better than everyone? Well, Brian Ace, I hope your ankle's feeling better because you guys are going to earn opportunities. You will take on the team of Jay Risk and Christian Storm in a tag team match. You heard it. Legion versus Christian Storm and Jay Risk. So Brian Ace, Chris Conant, have fun. And unknown, it's been a while since you defended your Iron Man championship. So, wait no longer. Because if you're still champion come May 20th, you might get a little closer to the Legion than you want. Stay tuned. And Sniper, okay, this is a little fucking pain in my ass right now. Alright, so, being that Ray Lewis and Fear both pinned Sniper, I'm going to make a three-way dance for the XBW Championship come May 20th. Now, Ray, I was going to give you the opportunity versus Fear before Divide and Conquer. But since you want to run your mouth, talk all this shit about politics, when well, need I remind you, you and Chris Conan at the beginning of the season last year were the biggest politicians in this company. Need I remind you that it was the other administration that kept you on the pre-show. And I was the one to rise you to the main event. I'm the one to give you these opportunities. Now, you want to burn this bridge with me? Fine. I don't give a shit. You don't like it here? Go. I really can give a fuck. I have so much more new talent coming in. So many more guys coming up that deserve shots that I really could give a shit whether or not you're happy. Honestly. You want to burn that bridge? Bridge is burned. Consider it chlamydia. That was a good one. Alright. So. Since you want to run your mouth. I'm going to let fear pick the stipulation. And he already got back to me. It will be a tables, ladders, and chairs match. For the XPW World Championship. Be Sniper, Ray Lewis, and Fear. TLC. Now that's a match I want to see. I want to see flipping. I want to see blood. I want to I want to see a really good match. And I'm pretty sure the three of you, including you, Ray Lewis, will put on a good show. And Evil Jesus. Uh, after the sound here. Dark Follow said, put money where your mouth is. And come and try to take his dishwasher title. XBW are for the people. Uh, we give opportunities to the less fortunate. So you guys can go and do that. Anyway, if you didn't hear your name on here, remember, I only have a minute, and it's been a few. This is the Muerte Minute. I'll give you more next week. But first, let's see if I can read you this letter from Puerto Rican Dynasty. The Puerto Rican Dynasty has a very unique way of doing things. When the Puerto Rican Dynasty came to our show, their purpose came... They came for purpose, and that purpose was to bring down anybody and everybody that set foot in front of them. The Puerto Rican dynasty are known for their in-ring ability and their history. When they see chance and opportunity, they take it by any means necessary. You won't know when, where, or how, but they always do. This message was brought to me by the Puerto Rican dynasty, and it is as follows. To all, XPW's future, XP, to all XPW, the future is clear to us, and by that... We mean the dethroning and establishment of the Puerto Rican dynasty is going to be set. We don't know by what means, but we know this. Sometime along the road, we will see PRD and God knows what will ha it's going to happen. Okay, so uh, got some Puerto Ricans making threats, so and that's cool. I mean, at least there's a story going on here. And next week, maybe I'll talk to you guys a little about, about storytelling. I wanted to go on about that today, but it's going to be a little too long. So next week in the Muerte Minute, we're going to talk about storytelling and how to get your message across in XBW and why Facebook isn't the way to do it. Peace.